A police investigation underway tonight after an Appleton mother says her son suffered a head injury during a bullying incident at school. NBC 26 says Stacey Angabretson spoke with the boy's mom today. She's live in the newsroom now with what she had to say. Regina, Holly Lazaro says her 10-year-old son, Caden, has been bullied for the past year by the same boy at school. Last week, she says the alleged bully put the fifth grader in a headlock and pushed his head into the ground, causing a brain bleed and a concussion. She says it happened during recess at Horizons Elementary School. Lazaro has since pulled both of her kids out of that school and says she now plans to push for the removal of the superintendent and school principal for failing to stop the bullying. I mean, I felt helpless while he's at school and he doesn't feel safe. And the only thing that I can do is reach out to the district to be told that there's, it's going to happen. There's nothing they can do to prevent it. The school district declined a request for an interview today and directed us to their website where they posted this statement. It says, quote, there is considerable misinformation information being posted on social media regarding how this incident was handled. Our investigation has shown that the school and the district did act appropriately to address the allegations brought forth. It is not known tonight what actions the district took. The statement did go on to say the school district takes bullying seriously and has numerous programs in place to prevent it and report it. Now, as far as Caden's condition, his mom says he is recovering at home. Next month, she plans to attend the Board of Education meeting to push for change. Meanwhile, tonight, the police investigation continues. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stacey Angabretson, NBC 26.